I'm joined now by Scott Brown, head coach of the Marysville Boys team. First off, coach, you're off to a good 7-1 and one start coming out of Christmas break. How are you feeling about your team heading into the middle of January? Um, you know, pretty good. We've had, uh, you know, we just beat a couple good teams that, you know, Concordia plays extremely hard and they shoot the ball well and came out and punched us in the mouth. And, and I thought our guys responded pretty well to that and beat Abilene and, you know, put – Beating those two teams at their place is never easy. They're both great atmospheres and uh, they're well coached and they got good players. And I thought our guys uh, faced, some, faced some adversity in both games and they uh, um, did what they needed to do to um, finish out each game. I think we still got a long ways to go to where we want to be as a team, but I think we've taken steps in the right direction. Now, I was going to ask you about these three road games coming right out of break. How does that bode for you heading into this tournament here this next week? You know, since I've been here, this uh, after coming out of Christmas break, you'd get Abilene, then Concordia, and Wamigo, and they've just all, especially when I first came, all three of those teams were just loaded, and they'd stick it to you. And, you know, we've been lucky to have some really, really good players come through, and we've got some really good ones now, and uh, handle those games that this stretch a little better than we did, but it's that's a great thing about our league is you just it's n- never a walk in the park. It's a tough stretch, but it's great because it prepares us for the postseason. That's what I love about our league the most. And one of those teams that you got ready to prepare you is Walmigo coming up. What are they going to throw at you that you know the boys are going to have to handle in order to come out with a victory? You know, they're a little different than what we've been playing against. You know, Concordia has a bunch of guards that shoot the ball well, and and uh, Abilene was kind of the same way, very guard-oriented, a lot of uh, a lot of guys that can shoot the three. And, and Wamigo has a couple guys that can do that, but, you know, they also have got some big uh, athletic kids, and they hit the uh, offensive boards extremely hard. Those are two things that we're going to have to. We can't, uh, can't relax for one second on the defensive end. We've got to be... Got to be on our toes, and shot goes up, and we all got to go hit a body. Now, heading into next week, I want to ask you, getting into it, the Thunder Classic coming up there, how is it going to prepare you for a state championship run, hopefully, later on in the season? Oh, I think we uh, – Atchison's in there. They're, they've got a really good team. St. Mary's is very well coached. Mm-hmm. Nemaha Central may not have a great record this year, but they're going to hold the ball on you and make you guard the whole time. You, you kind of – we're going to get a, a little bit of uh, – little bit of everything over there at that tournament it's never easy um over there you could you know Nemaha is just so well coached and every year you're going to get a tough game from them whether they're up or down and Atchison's just having a heck of a year and and uh I think you uh and St. Mary's Academy when they first came into that tournament everybody was kind of like oh well, that's going to be an easy win and they beat Abilene this year and they'll they'll pose a much uh bigger challenge than I think most people think. That's all the questions I got for you here today. Once again, joined by Scott Brown, head coach of the Marysville Boys team. Appreciate your time today. Congratulations to the nice start and best of luck with Wamigo coming up. All right. Thank you, sir. Anyone can sell you soybean seed. Channel Seedsman plays product to perform. With Channel Extend Flex Soybeans and Channel Roundup Ready to Extend Soybeans, you'll get the superior weed control you want and the high yield potential you need. Make the most of next season with the Roundup Ready Extend Crop System and expert recommendations from Channel Seedsman. Ask a seedsman in your area for recommendations for your fields. Check with your state pesticide regulatory agency for specific restrictions in your state. Always read and follow pesticide label directions. Whether you're buying, building, remodeling, or refinancing, your home is a major investment in your life. At United Bank & Trust, we understand how important it is to work with someone who cares. Our loan officers have the experience it takes to make the process a smooth one. Come in for a visit or start online by filling out a loan application at ubankonline.com in as little as 20 minutes. Mortgage lending with United Bank & Trust. It's banking for your way of life. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Make every job easier with one stop at Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axel Lumber. For any project inside or out, if you're a professional or do-it-yourselfer, get the tools you need, including Milwaukee, DeWalt, Stanley, and more. 
Battery-operated tools offer the convenience and mobility with the power to get the job done quickly every time. Stocked with all the blades, bits, and accessories for your convenience as well. Check out the Power Tools selection today and get the work started on your schedule with Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axtell Lumber. Honeyman Auto Sales and Service. Drive by or check inventory online at HoneymanAuto.com. You can even schedule a test drive online as well. With lots of choices, Honeyman works to make yours the best buying experience with customer service a top priority. Competitive pricing, knowledgeable staff, and superior customer service right here at home. With a full service shop and a selection of both cars and trucks in all price ranges, see Honeyman Auto Sales and Service East Pony Express Highway. Way, Marysville today. Three, two, one. Did the new year bring new devices in your home? You might want to increase your internet speed. If you up your speed this month, you get a $20.23 bill credit for three months to kick off 2023. New Blue Valley Internet customers also get a $20.23 bill credit for three months. Visit bluevalley.net slash 2023. Terms and conditions apply. See store for details. Sunflower Community Credit Union recognizes that members' health, both personal and financial, is top priority. In order to make your banking a completely safe experience, they're proud to now offer drive-in convenience. Monday through Friday, 7.30 till 5.30, Saturday, 8.30 till noon. Lending can be done remotely as well. Contact their friendly loan officers at 562-3741. New members always welcome. Call, go online, or drop by Sunflower Community Credit Union in Marysville for more details. Caring about your personal and financial health, Sunflower Community Credit Union. And again, welcome back as we get back to business. Marysville at Guamigo. It's a North Central Kansas League boys game tonight. Perhaps for a piece of the NCKL title as Abilene handy Guamigo, their first league loss of the season on Tuesday night. Marysville is undefeated atop the NCKL. Five league starts. They are seven and one overall. Guamigo six and two overall, three and one in the league with that loss to Abilene. The girls' final earlier, biggest margin victory for Guamigo this season, 83-25 over Marysville. But I will emphasize Marysville's team did not play bad. Guamigo is just that good. Right? Third in the state behind Bishop Mays and McPherson. They're undefeated now in nine starts, five league starts. Marysville still in that uh, next tier of NCKL team, but uh, they fall to four and two on the uh, season in the league. Other league scores and girls play before we get you moving on. Chapman knocks off Concordia tonight, 45-40, and Clay Center beat Abilene girls, 45-31. Those are the only area teams in action as the Twin Valley League Tournament tips off at Washington County tomorrow. First of 10 games in uh, the primary secondary gymnasium start at 10 a.m. Also want to remind you, Jay Husker tomorrow. 15 Kansas and Nebraska teams in the Marysville Junior Senior High Activity Center for a 10 a.m. start in the annual Jay Husker Tournament. All right, starting lineups for the visiting Marysville Bulldogs. Jack Lauer is a 6'2 senior. Will Otata, 6'1 sophomore. Sanders Utterman, a 6'2 senior. Rhett Williams and his twin brother, Rook Williams, both 6'4 seniors. For Marysville, 7-1, their only loss, second game of the season at the Buffa. 5-0 atop the NCKL. Wamego starts Joey Shea, a 6'6 senior. Spencer Heck, a 5'11 junior. Colin Donahue, a 6'0 senior. Emory Wolf, a 6'1 senior. And Drew Petty is a 6'2 junior. Wamego 6-2 on the season. They lost to Sabetha early in the year and lost earlier this week to Abilene, putting them 3-1 in the NCKL. Marysville at Wamego ought to be a dandy here in the nightcap. Glad to have you along. And our broadcast coverage on air online and on our mobile app, a service of our KNY Sports Boosters. Brooke Williams at center court with Joey Shea, 6 6 6 4. Shea is the big man on the court. The tip is taken by the Bulldogs. Tip to Rhett Williams, and Marysville plays the visiting court right to left with a far side pass to Jack Lauer. Rhett Williams driving between defenders. Layup is good for Rhett Williams, who fouled out on Tuesday at Concordia, but was still Bulldog high scorer with 13 points. First team back from the Christmas break, he was lead scorer with 14. 
Clay in the paint. Got away from Joey Shea out of bounds. Bulldog student section making some noise across the way. We don't have a full house. I'm surprised. And, yeah, there's plenty of seating, but not the crowd I expected for this level of a ball game tonight. Everybody home listening to the radio, I suppose. The Zetterman goes far side to Otak, bringing man-to-man pressure to the forecourt to Lauer. Jack Lauer to the lane. Goes low to Zetterman. A mitch defender, Zetterman's shot doesn't fall. Rebounds out to Emory Wolf. Wolf off the near side. Back to forecourt to Spencer Hack. Trio of seniors, pair of juniors start for Troy Hemphill's team. They went 14-8 and eight last year, 8-2 and two in the league. Lob to the lane, intercepted. Lauer tips it to Rook Williams. Bulldogs with a 2-0 lead and the ball. Sanders Zetterman driving the lane, meets defenders, and is fouled. Drew Petty picks up his first. Wins over Abilene and Concordia. Since the Christmas break. Lauer from the near side. Three off the side of the rim. Doesn't fall. Shea is high for the rebound. Play to Shea on the left baseline. Guarded by Rhett Williams. He was fouled. Rhett moved in on Shea just a little bit, backed him out. Got the foul whistle his first. Shea at the line, four pair, a 6'6 senior. One of three senior starters and among four seniors on the Spar City roster. Shot off the glass is good. Raiders on the board, trailing Marysville 2-1. to one. Just underway here in the nightcap. It's an early start. We had a running clock fourth quarter of that girls game. Shea, second free throw, rims out, doesn't fall. Rhett Williams with the board. And unbelievably, just 15 minutes, they rolled between ball games like they wanted to get down to action. I have spent many, many nights here with presentations and long, long intermissions of not just 45 minutes between games that I often didn't anticipate. So thank you, Travis Graber, athletic director here, for the heads up. There was nothing else planned. We're here for basketball tonight. Runner passes. Here's Rook Williams, far side, looking for Lauer coming on the baseline. He had the ball knocked away. He was tripped up. Bulldogs retain possession. Not quite two minutes in. Rook Williams driving underneath. He was fouled. Well, not the kind of start you may be expected between a 7-1, and 6-2 and two team. A second foul on Drew Patty brings Mason Herzog, a senior reserve, in the lineup. Here's Lauer on the left baseline. Out to the right wing to Rhett Williams, launching a three, missing off the rim. Donahue rebound. Raiders for their first lead, trailing 2-1. Wolf takes it far side. Plays off on the wing to Shea. Now it's Wolf on the far sideline, but he stepped out of bounds. Truth be told, it's kind of a hit or miss rocky start here tonight. Both ways, if we will. And both teams are nervous. Steal by Donahue. Raiders again play for the lead. Bounce pass near side to Herzog. Out top to Hack. Far side Wolf. Back into four courts of Hack. Bulldogs with man to man D. Look in the lane. There's nothing there. Scooting a couple guys across down low. Perimeter to the near side of Wolf. Colin Donahue drives the lane. And he's whistled for an offensive charge, right? It's a charge on Donahue, his first. Both 
Abilene and Concordia played very physical against Marysville. And I was impressed, or said several times, they did not pull Marysville into that physical game where they returned the fouls. They played very clean. Here's Thomas Barron, senior reserve, early on in the Marysville lineup. Lauer crossing the free throw line. Well, Tot, three off the near side. Counted on the bounce for Willow Todd. It bounced probably three or four feet in the air. Second field goal here tonight. It's a 5-1 Marysville lead with 4.25 to play first quarter. Packed on the near side, guarded by Lauer. Lots of black jerseys guarding in the lane. Hands to Wolf coming past. He scoots underneath. This is a backdoor look. And it's Bulldog basketball out of the mess. Thomas Behrens came away with it. Lauer through traffic, uh, traveled with the basketball. He wanted the foul whistle. There probably was contact, but it was much he as they. There's Dusty Monroe, junior reserve, in for the Raiders. Devin Tomer is second off the Bulldog bench, a 6'4 senior. Checks in for Lauer. 5-1 the score, middle of the first. Under four minutes and counting. Donahue out top to Monroe just in the ball game. Four court to Herzog. Near side pack. Launch underneath, too deep. Kick it out in the corner. Air ball into the hands of Willow Todd. Well, Todd far side to Rook Williams. Shot missed. Well, Todd in the lane. And it's traffic. He's fouled. On the follow look. Pair of free throws coming for the sophomore, Willow Todd. Colin Donahue's second is a fourth team foul. The only underclassman starter for the Bulldogs. A team with 10 seniors this year. Finished 10 and 12 last year. The top free throws good. Both these teams lost in the sub-state championship. Oh, top number two, it's good. Extending the lead, seven to one. Here's Joey Shea, the big man for Omega, 6'6", six, six senior coming back. Raiders scored us from the field. We're five and a half minutes in. No significant threats. Left-handed layup's good, and Spencer Hack changes that statement. He's got the first score on a Raider layup. It's 7-3. Well, Omega averages 54 points a game. They give up 48. Marysville averages 58, giving up 41. Bulldog miss. Monroe rebound. Wolf off the far side. He's the man to watch. Averages 13 points a game. Lead score for Walmigo. Pretty good balance then. If 13's your lead score. Jack Lauer's been the lead scorer for Marysville. Hasn't started off January with a bang, but they've gotten it done with the rest of the team. Three and four players in double figures in the wins at Concordia and Adelaide. Driving down low, Dusty Monroe, the reserve, puts it in for two. Trimming the Murraysville lead to two. It's 7-5 with 2.18 left. Tomer, far side to Zutterman. Out top is Otak. To the lane. Hook off the back of the rim. Missed. Rebound to Thomas Barron. Travel with it coming away. Lauer and Rhett Williams are back in the Bulldog lineup for Rook and Otak. Under two to play, two-point affair. Omega could tie or take a lead. Haven't shown a long ball yet tonight. Short, quick passes. Now coming right baseline. Shot rims off for Mason Herzog. Williams up there for the rebound. Rep. Sutterman needs. Williams underneath. Double pump. Shot doesn't go. Got his own board. Brings it back out. Good job by Rhett Williams. Lauer through traffic, underhanded layup missed. 
Tipped again. Back to Lauer, and the Bulldogs keep it in play. Impressive offensive boards against a big inside team for Wamego. They go 6-6, 6-2, 6-2. To the lane, turning out, Tomer. Near side, Barons. Williams in the lane to Zutterman in the corner. Shot rims off. Bulldog rebound to Rhett Williams. That's four Bulldog possessions on this. uh, Or four Bulldog tries on this possession. Where am I going with that? Working with a lot of intensity out there tonight. Spreading the offense. Sideline to sideline. Williams far side corner is fouled. Mason Herzog reach in his first. Team foul number five. Brooke and Will are back in the Bulldog lineup for Barons and Tomer. Late in the first, a 7-5 affair. In the paint to Brett Williams for the turnaround score. 9-5. Shot off the far side, Spencer Heck, three, missing the iron. Zutterman's down for the Bulldogs for the ball. They can play the clock out, rolling under 20 seconds. No challenge on Otan at center court. Takes it far side. Lauer, top of the key, clock under 10. Lauer to the lane. Shot blocked over the top by Heck. Loose ball, fought for, tipped away. Finally taken, no, not taken. Fought for all the way down the floor. Tipped back and forth at the buzzer. End of eight minutes here. North Central Kansas League boys play. It's Marysville 9, Omega 5. Bremen Farmers Mutual Insurance, providing high quality coverage and service, all at a competitive premium cost. Since 1888, Bremen Farmers Mutual has offered homeowner, farm owner, business owner, fire, and inland marine coverage. Dependable and affordable. See your local agent representing Bremen Farmers Mutual Insurance. Learn more about the various insurance products offered by going online at bfmic.com. Farmers, they're the lifeblood of America. The men and women who tackle the toughest jobs to put clothes on our backs and food on our tables. They might do it quietly, but their genuine values and tireless work ethic are an inspiration to us all. Some might say farming is a thankless occupation, so that's why we're taking the time to say thanks. Farm Bureau Financial Services, protecting what matters most. Patrick Booty in Marysville is your local agent with Marshall County, Farm Bureau Insurance, and Farm Bureau Financial Services. And Kramer Oil among our regional sponsors on the broadcast here tonight. Call them for propane service at Kramer Oil. Bulldogs lead the Raiders 9-5 in the boys' tilt. Girls went to Walmigo 83-25. No, Marysville did not play bad. Walmigo's just really, really good. Top of the key three missing for Spencer Hack off the rim. Foul uh, whistled on the rebound. Jack Lauer, his first. Marysville second. Marysville a win, their last outing at Concordia, 59-52 in a hard fight Tuesday. Shea in the paint, shot missed. Rook Williams rebound. Marysville won at Abilene a week ago, 57-49. 2-0, road games here in January. Correct Williams up top to the lane. Had the ball knocked away by Spencer Heck. They'll do battle, and the fouls whistled on Williams. Rhett picks up his first, third team. Marysville's had the lead the entire way. Raider basketball, they're down four. Okay, far side pass to Monroe. Checks baseline. Out on the wing, three-point shot's good for Spencer Hack. Trims the lead to one. That's Hack's second field goal, and it's 9-8. Just underway, second quarter. Zutterman out top with Otan. 
Right side takes it to the corner. Coming underneath, backdoor layup, Misko Tot got his own board. Follow underneath, hits the base of the rim. Uh, dive on the near side, Sutterman back to Lauer. Missed a shot underneath. Ball is fourth four underneath the basket. Four players going to scramble. And a tie-up whistle finally breaks it all up. Two teams statistically, record-wise, personnel-wise, look a lot alike. And Mounds to Rhett in the paint. Turnaround hook missing. Hack rebound. Raiders for the go-ahead. 6.20 remains first half. Sutterman meets Monroe coming across midcourt. Matchup zone. Pass got away from Hack underneath. Out of bounds. Emory Wool, senior starter back in the Raider lineup. Top scorer for the team. Hasn't scored as yet tonight. Not a lot of scoring either way. We're 10 minutes in. We've got 17 combined points. Five field goals. Three of four free throws combined. Rett's out front. Sander comes from the wing. Jack takes it right side, baseline. Out top to Brooke Williams for the three. Brooke Williams with a score, and it's 12-8. Second tray for the Bulldogs. Bulldog faithful across the way, chanting defense, and it pays. Sutterman with a steal of a pass. Transition to Lauer. Brooks on the wing, back to Lauer. Four-point Marysville lead. Lauer turning as he comes to the lane. Marysville, without a doubt, playing their best basketball of the season here in January. Lauer downtown. It's good. Third tray for the Bulldogs. They have a seven-point lead. Troy Empill wants timeout with 4.54 to play first half. Marysville, 15, Flamingo 8. Legacy Carpet Cleaning will give your floors a fresh-as-new look. Let their team of dedicated professionals tackle your carpet or tile cleaning. Your home feels fresh, looks great, and makes a more healthy environment for you and your family. Call Skyler Price today for an appointment and let Legacy Carpet Cleaning in Marysville go to work for you. Jay Husker Wrestling Tournament tomorrow, 48th annual, starts at 10 in the Junior Senior High Activity Center. Kansas, Kansas State's on the radio tomorrow afternoon. And we'll be in Washington County most of next week with the Twin Valley League Tournament. Tips off tomorrow. We don't have the play-in games. We'll be there for three or four games on Monday with Max Blasky. I'll head to Seneca Tuesday. We'll talk about the Thunder Classic pairings, Marysville's top seed in that tournament next week. We'll talk about that at the half. Donahue wide on the far side. Hattie back in the ball game. Plays to Donahue near the lane. Shot doesn't go. Lauer's out with the board, but can't hang on. Out of bounds baseline. Starter Spencer Hack is back in the lineup. Seven-point Marysville lead, biggest in the ball game, middle of the second queue. Inbounds to Shea. Quick tie-up whistle. Omega retains possession. From their own baseline. Inbounds pass high near his heck. Over to Monroe. Back top of the key to Spencer Heck. He turns it over. Marysville 7 and 1, Omega 6 and 2. Both teams have lost to Sabetha. They're in the 3A boys rankings. Marysville's moved up to number 9, according to the Kansas Basketball Coaches Association. That came in the top 10 over the Christmas break. Here's Ota through traffic, underhanded layup. Miss. Big Joey Shea at 6'6 pulls down the board. 
Transition to Monroe. Dusty Monroe with his second score on a layup. And it's 15-10, Bulldogs. Four minutes to play first half. Long pass down the floor to Rook Williams underneath to Thomas Barron. Assist to Williams. Barron's gets his first basket. It's 17-10. Bounce pass to Shea, far wing. Hack near the lane to Shea in the paint. Amidst defenders, he was fouled. Ball was knocked loose by Rhett Williams. Or was there a foul? They're going to converse. Yeah, they're going to take it over the scorer's bench. Willow Tot picks up his first, sending Joey Shea to the line for a pair. He was one for two early on. Shea free throw, missing. Devin Tilmer, Sanders Zetterman back in the Bulldog lineup for the Williams Twins. Number 34, Devin Tilmer. Shea, a second free throw. 335. In and out, no good. Oh, top with the board. Marysville's led all the way. Seven points, their biggest margin. Sander on the near side. Jack, top of the key. Right side of the lane. Guarded shot. Rims off. Monroe rebound. Long pass. Way overthrown for Spencer Hack. Bulldogs grab it right back. Here's Mason Herzog, senior reserve in for Troy Hempel's team. Scott Brown cheering his team on as they bring the ball down the floor. Perimeter passes outside the arc. Sander on the far side. Dribbles once. Otak right baseline. Pass to the lane stolen by Pack. Plays the transition pass to Mason Herzog. Between defenders, he lost control. Out of bounds to MHS. Marysville, despite the lead, hasn't necessarily looked dominant here tonight. And Wamigo, maybe not as strong as I expected coming in. But who is to tell? And the second half might look a lot different. We just don't know. Brooks at midcourt goes back court to Lauer. And too much time, I guess. I thought maybe it was going to be an over and back. He straddled the midcourt line. Ten second whistle. Well, now can Wamingo take advantage? Wolf near side of Heck. Launches a hard pass in the paint. Knocked down by Lauer and Barons takes hold. Rooks down the floor near side. To Lauer. Made away jumpers. Good for Jack Lauer's second score. He's got five. Marysville leads by nine. Just over two minutes and counting. First half. Yeah, we had an early start here tonight. Running clock, fourth quarter of a girl's blowout. In traffic, Emory Wolf trying to find room to the hoop. Wolf averaging 13 points a game. Hasn't scored. Comes to the line for two. Found by Rook Williams, his second. Wolf at the line, rims off. Boy, they're just one of five at the line. But a player rotation, Shea's back in for Omega. Wolf on a second try, it's good. Reluctant, but good. Full court press. Otot with a pass out of bounds to the Wamega coach. A couple of Marysville turnovers coming down the floor. Uncharacteristic for a team that's handled a press pretty well this season. Following a screen out top, Wolf to the near side. Looking for help. Shea near the paint. 
to Wolf out on the right baseline. 12-footer missed. Shea with a follow off the glass. Doesn't draw iron. And it's hot. Gets a piece of the action with Shea. The jump ball whistle belongs to the Bulldogs. With a buck 34 to play, first half. It's an eight-point ball game. Scott Brown's going to get the ball down the floor. They're just piddling around in the backcourt. There we go. Cross-court pass. Sanders up top to Rhett. Lauer on the near side. Zutterman left of the free throw line. It's good. Nice touch by Sanders. Zutterman, his first score. All five starters have scored. Six Bulldogs on the books. Leading by 10, 21-11. Under a minute remains. Well, Eagle still stinging from the loss to Adeline the other night. They had a halftime lead that was pretty substantial. I'll look it up at the half. Couple steps off the arc, hesitant passes. Wolf in the forecourt. Little dribble bounce to Herzog. Shot off the far side by Spencer Hat. Rims off to Lauer. And with a half minute left, the Bulldogs can play the clock out. Hasn't necessarily been their forte of late. They lead by 10. And Wolf comes in the forecourt on Otan. Following a screen by Lauer, Otat keeps the dribble. Still in the forecourt, now to Lauer. Clock's under 10. Lauer to the free throw line. Shot doesn't go. Spencer had rebound with three and a half seconds. Half court launch. By Dusty Monroe. And he's whistled for an offensive foul. He bumped the defender. That leaves a tenth of a second on the clock. Bulldogs inbounds past midcourt. Nothing you can do. First half in the books. Marysville boys lead Wamego 21-11. JD Construction wants to make your dream home a reality. Whether you want to build a custom home, remodel your current home, or add a new deck or patio, JD Construction can handle all your residential construction needs. They are also experts when it comes to agriculture and residential buildings. For small or large projects, consider a custom building from JD Construction. They'll give you high-quality work while staying on schedule and budget. Contact Jared Smith at 785-353-2312. From start to finish, it's JD Construction. At United Bank and Trust, we get it. Bank hours don't always fit into your schedule. With the United Bank and Trust mobile banking app, you can bank anytime, anywhere. At home, at work, or anywhere in between, you can perform convenient and secure transactions like mobile check deposit, transfer money between accounts, or see your balance instantly. Find it by searching for United Bank and Trust mobile app in your app store. Mobile banking with United Bank and Trust. It's banking for your way of life. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Free CPA in Marysville has built a heritage of trust and reliability with your accounting, tax, and business advisory needs through the years. Certified public accountant Marcus Fries, with over 25 years of experience, and his staff continue that tradition of outstanding service to you, the customer, each and every day. Free CPA, downtown Marysville. Whether it's a car accident, storm damage, or a fire, when the unthinkable happens, it doesn't matter if you saved money in 15 minutes. In this moment, it doesn't matter if your neighbor has the same insurance as you. In this moment, what matters is that your independent insurance agent and the company that stands behind you have you covered. Please come see the girls on Broadway at Alliance Insurance, 785-562-2393. Dazzlers dance team from Wamego here on their home court as the Marysville boys lead Wamego 21-11. We're at the half. Well, I've said balance the last couple of outings for Marysville. I felt that is so important that not one, but two, and oftentimes three players are in double figures, and you're getting point production from generally all of your starters and the bench, and that is very much the case here tonight. Your lead scorers with five apiece are Jack Lauer and Willow Todd. What does that tell you? Five each for those two. Two apiece for Sanders Zetterman, Rhett and Rook Williams, and Thomas Barron's off the bench with two. 
for a Marysville team that's gone seven deep in the first half with nine in the first quarter, 12 in the second first half total of 21. In a very physical ball game, neither team has gone to the bonus. Marysville's only been to the line twice. Willow Tot hit two for two. Walmago, Spencer Heck has five points. Reserve Dusty Monroe with four. Joey Shea and Emery Wolf have a free throw each. Wolf is their lead scorer, averaging 13 points a game. They have struggled offensively. Five in the first, six in the second, first half total of 11. Marysville 9 5 and 12 6, first and second quarters, as the Bulldogs lead the Raiders in boys' action tonight, 21 11. In the girls' game earlier, it was all Lady Raiders as they jumped to a 21 7 first quarter lead, led 50 to 8 at the half, held Marysville to a free throw in the second quarter. Two field goals, three free throws in the first half. Marysville, though, came back and scored 14 points in the third quarter. Now, they were outscored 25-14, but fought hard all night. Give them credit there. Wamego wins 83-25, biggest margin of victory for an undefeated Wamego team, going 9-0, 5-0 easily atop the NCKL. As Marysville falls to 3-6 and, six and uh, what, 3-3 and th- three and three in the North Central Kansas League. Uh, scoring for Wamego, led by Trista Hubler with 24. 21 apiece for Ashton Pearson with 19 of those in the first half, and 21 for freshman reserve Lexi Hack. Addison Denny scoring nine. Maya Gallagher, eight points, and a free throw off the bench for Riley Meinhardt. Wamego perfect in nine starts this season. Marysville led by Lindsey Dressman came on strong in the second half with seven of her ten points after intermission. Five apiece for Haley Ingalls and Maddie Cap. Bryn O'Neill scores four. 83-25 girls final here tonight. Chapman beat Concordia 45-40 and the Clay Center girls took Abilene 45-31. At the half in boys play here, Marysville leads Wilmego 21-11. Concordia and Chapman tied at 26 at the half and Abilene way ahead of Clay Center 33-9. That is early in the second quarter. We'll come back, check the North Central Kansas League standings and tournament play for the Marysville boys next week as our halftime show continues after this timeout. Get away with a shopping day at Reflections Hallmark. Beautiful home decor pieces, scented candles, last-minute gift ideas for any reason, plus Hallmark cards, as well as fabulous boutique clothing and accessories. For yourself, for your home, for someone else. Shop Reflections Hallmark in downtown Marysville. And remember, they do custom picture framing with lots of frames and matting choices. You're always welcome. Thanks for shopping local. Reflections Hallmark, downtown Marysville. There is a difference. When we consider a loan application, we also take into consideration a person's character. We don't just run a bunch of numbers in a computer and call it a credit score. People are more than numbers. First Commerce Bank. Experience the difference. Member FDIC. For reliable trash pickup and roll-off service, call on Temp's Disposal. Containers sized to meet your needs for residential, commercial, and construction jobs. Always prompt and professional, Temp's Disposal serves Marshall, Washington, and Gage Counties. Let them go to work for you. If it's their weekly collection schedule or one-time pickups for construction, moving, or cleanup, Temp's Disposal in Marysville is a phone call away at 785-562-5360. Napa know-how. Locally owned, locally operated, your Napa parts store in Marysville offers Napa parts and accessories, plus the tools, equipment, and supplies you need to get every job done right the first time. The right tools at the right price, plus Napa know-how. From your locally owned and locally operated Napa parts store in Marysville, Enans Automotive. Napa know-how. Cool play for the Marysville boys begins Tuesday at Seneca. Marysville's the top seed, seven and one, and they'll face Hiawatha two and six in a 6 p.m. tip-off Tuesday. We should have the game live. Marysville will face St. Mary's 
three and four in a Thursday evening affair at six. And then the winners advance to Saturday's finals. Marysville's the number one seed, seven and one. St. Mary's Academy, the number two seed. They're in Pool B. They're seven and two. With third seed Atchison in Pool B at five and one. Everybody else at 500 or lower than Nemo Hall Central's four and four. St. Mary's three and four. Jackson Heights three and five. The Hiawatha team two and six. Rounding out a seven team field in the Thunder Classic at Seneca next Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Your farm is your life, and it's been that way for generations. Protect what you've worked so hard to build with the generations of success of State Farm and Agent John Bannister. No one can tailor coverage to meet the needs of your farm like John can. Contact State Farm Agent John Bannister, 1022 Broadway in Marysville today for a quote or more information. When you roll or send for Schroeder... For complete body repair, see Jeff at Schroeder Collision Center, a family business for several generations. Let Jeff and his quality crew help you with your auto needs. Schroeder Collision Center, 701 Carolina, 562-3546. Kickhafer and Bussing, certified public accountants in Marysville and now in Seneca, are qualified and available to assist you with all of your income tax and accounting needs. Stop by and visit Ken Kickhafer, Kent Bussing, or their staff of certified public accountants and paraprofessionals. For prompt and friendly service, contact Kickhafer and Bussing at their two locations, 1100 Broadway in Marysville at 562-2100 or 508 Main Street in Seneca at 336-2400 to set up an appointment. Kickhafer and Bussing, where quality begins. Update your home today with a new look from Feldkamp's Furniture Mart. See their tremendous selection of living room, dining room, and bedroom sets and furniture, as well as bedding, accent pieces, appliances, and more. Flooring choices with professional installation are available to complete a new look from start to finish for a single room or your entire home. Financing options for any budget up to 24 months with no interest, as well as free delivery making buying local easy. Shop Feldkamp's Furniture and Flooring in Marysville today. Marysville and Wilmego 1-2 in the North Central Kansas League. Wilmego falls to runner-up after a loss to Abilene on Tuesday. It was a comeback win for the Cowboys. Marysville 7-1, 5-0. Then Wilmego 6-2, 3-1. Abilene 5-4, 3-1. They're way ahead of Clay Center tonight. And Cordy at Clay Center and Chapman round out the league race. We are underway. Marysville leading at Wilmego 21-13. On a score by Joey Shea with a free throw counting. He was one of four at the line in the first half. And Shea has to leave the free throw line. He heads to the bench. He's got something on the uniform. Going to be a reserve coming in for Shea. Must have had some blood on his uniform. So Dusty Monroe's going to check in. He'll shoot the free throw for Shea. Don't see that often. A reserve checks in to shoot the free throw. Monroe missing. High for the rebound is Rhett Williams. Hold on basketball. They led by as many as 10. That was their halftime lead. Have led the entire way. wabigo has been no closer than two. Patty with the foul whistle, his first. Lauer, Otan, Zutterman, and the Williams boys. Nope, not right now. Thomas Barron's in there. Jack Lauer, wide open top of the key. Eight points for Lauer, a couple of trays, and the lead is 11. Just underway, second half. Shea, Heck Donahue, Wolf, and Petty. Line up for Omega. Drew Petty, Jr. is fouled underneath the basket. By Otot, that's his second. Petty at the line, shooting two. Omega, two of six free throws in the first half. Petty missing here. They're just two for eight tonight, 25%. 
Marysville, by contrast, two for two. Oton had the only chances. And a miss. Rebounds out to Rhett. Bulldogs by 11 with the ball. Pass far side to Sander. Brings it out top to Lauer. Top of the key. Three missed off the back of the rim. Spencer Heck pulls down the defensive board. Far side of Wolf. To the paint Donahue. Backs out of the lane. Still a short shot. Missed. Petty after the whistle. No basket. Sanders Zetterman picks up his first personal third team foul. Herzog in the lineup for Wamego. Kind of a whole hum start to the second half here. Shot near the free throw line, missing for Donahue. No top brings it back the other way. Sanders on the far side. Rett's in the forecourt. Lauer driving near side. Layup doesn't go. All make a possession. A loss to Abilene Tuesday. They beat Concordia last Thursday. Took St. Mary's in a five-point win. First game back from the Christmas break. Wins over Clay Center, Chapman, Tonganoxie, and Hayden in December. Their only loss in December to Sabetha. I played Sabetha just uh, like days after Marysville did. Sabetha's in the top 10 3 I. All right, turnover on a tip. We're just shy of six minutes on the clock. Marysville 24, Wamego 13. Lauer near side, long three. It's good. Jack Lauer regaining some confidence tonight. Didn't have big scores the last couple times out. I guess he had 12 points. Better than I thought on Tuesday, but he had six at Abilene Friday. Extends the lead to 14. And the ball plays out of bounds off Wamigo's Mason Herzog in front of the scorer's bench. He checks out. If they're still feeling a sting from that loss on Tuesday, well, Mago's just not nearly as good as I anticipated for a 6-2 and two team. Lauer far side. Shot off the front of the rim, doesn't fall. Falls loose in the forecourt. Otan to Zutterman for the score. They literally took it away from Wamigo. Zutterman with the basket is second. It's 29-13. Bulldogs have outscored an 8-2 here in the second half. Far side pass to Monroe. Off the far wing to Heck. In the forecourt to Wolf. Donahue drives underneath. Plays to Shea in the paint. Shot missing. Ball tip to Rhett Williams. Lauer takes two defenders on a long layup. Missing. He was fouled. Senior Jack Lauer to the charity strike. Monroe picks up number two, second team foul. We're at 437 here in the third. Free throw rims out. So the boys go to tournament play next week. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday at Seneca. Six o'clock starts Tuesday and Thursday. We'll see on Saturday. Lauer free throw is good. 17-point lead, biggest in the ball game. Zutterman checks out. Barron's back in. Raider basketball. Marysville's defense has been tough tonight. Here's Hack bringing a defender, Jack Lauer, left of the lane. Nice job by Lauer defensively. Forced a shot, no contact, no foul. Out of bounds to MHS. And it is Emory Wolf. Their top scorer is back in the ball game. Hasn't scored a field goal. Has just a free throw tonight. 
They have scattered only five field goals. Middle of a third. Bauer kicks it back to Rhett. Williams off the near side. Shots up and good for Rhett Williams. His second score, and it's 32-13. What's up with this Omega team? We kind of got spoiled by the matchups the last couple nights out for the Bulldogs. And Cordy and Adeline both give them a tussle. Tonight, not so much. Monroe, way out on the far side. Donahue out top. Off the baseline, kind of a lucky shot for Drew Petty. His first score. I don't think it was intended. That's why I said lucky. Here's Marysville up 17. Lauer stops at the free throw line. Lost control of the ball. Dives into the mix. Now four players go scrambling. Sort that one out for me. Raider possession. Sutterman's back in for Lauer. Bulldogs shouldn't have a lot of trouble in the tournament next week, but you don't overlook those teams. Sometimes the record can be deceiving. The top seed sure puts you in a good position. Lob to Shea between defenders. He was fouled. Joey Shea, and they're going to let him have free throws. Hmm. I might not have been convinced he was shooting, but the ball was up in the air, being fought for. Brett second. Fourth team foul. Shea free throw missed. He's one for four. Shea went out moments ago. I think a uniform adjustment. He had some blood on his shorts or something. Monroe shot his free throw and missed. While well, goes 0 for 4 at the line. Second half. Shea connects. Three of 11 at the line tonight. Bulldog basketball. It's Rook Williams back in the lineup. Out top to Lauer. Otot, four court. Lauer unloads along three. Miss off the back of the rim. Behrens goes high for the rebound. He was fouled. Thomas Behrens has been a real hostler inside this season. Fouled by Petty. It's his third. Hacked is in the lineup for Shea. So they give up some size inside. Oh, nope, Shea's going to stay in. Patty's going to leave on that third foul whistle. Rook's in the four court, far side to Lauer. Back to Rook on the far wing. Top side again to Lauer. Far side Otot to the free throw line amidst traffic. Lauer takes it to the lane. Jordan layup's good for Jack Lauer. Coming on strong tonight with 14 points. It's 34-16. Now with a minute 50 to play in the third. 18 point Marysville lead. They were a four at the end of the first. Ten at the half. Here's Wolf. Near side. Kicks it out wide to Spencer Heck. He's got a three. Heck, second tray, his third score here tonight. Trims the lead, 34-19. Around the perimeter. Rutterman comes from the far side. Off the left side of Rook Williams. Dribbles once, hands to a top. Well, good defenders out front are staying two, three, four steps away. Here's a top challenging Heck to come out to center court. Plays to Zutterman. Now Lauer in the forecourt. 
Clock continues to roll with a double-digit Marysville lead. Late in the third quarter. Still playing the clock. We're under a half minute. Rutterman top side. Hands to a top. And the Bulldogs will play it out. Oh, top to the far side. Clock rolls under 10 as he comes out top to Lauer. Jack Lauer, one-on-one. Shot off the front of the rim, missed. Rebounds out to Emory Wolf. Three seconds left. Ball at midcourt was stolen by Rick Williams, but he had to track it back down and couldn't get a shot off in time. Three quarters in the books tonight. Boys action. Marysville 34. Oh, I'll make 19. Tension in Marysville is a leading national manufacturer and marketer of custom envelope products. Great career opportunities include operations, sales, customer service, accounting, tech, and administrative support. Go online to tensioncorp.com for the careers tab for more details on currently available opportunities. And apply today with Tension Corporation in Marysville, an equal opportunity employer. Tires aren't all the same and neither are tire dealers. Find a dealer like Mike's OK Tire who carries Michelin and BF Goodrich tires. Michelin offers safe, fuel-efficient, long-lasting tires that provide exceptional performance and extraordinary value. BF Goodrich tires are built for drivers looking for high performance and aggressive styling. Next time you need tires, don't deal with amateurs. See the tire experts. See Mike's OK Tire in downtown Marysville for tires, repair, alignment, and service. On air, online, and on your mobile app, we're live home and away with Bulldog Basketball, a service of our Keegan DY Sports Booster Club members. Marysville leading at Walmego 34-19. 7-1 versus 6-2. Marysville's ranked number 9 in boys 3A. Sanders Zetterman sliding into defenders in the lane as whistled for an offensive foul is second. Foul number 4, Sanders Zetterman, second personal, 15. Raider basketball, they need to get something going here late. Working underneath to Drew Pette in traffic. He was fouled. Foul start to stack up on Marysville. It's going to be team foul number six. They did not send him to the bonus in the first half. It's a fourth personal on uh, Rook Williams. Brother Rhett fouled out late Tuesday night. Still was lead scorer. Patty up a line, missed two earlier. This one's good. Patty's second shot off the rim doesn't fall. Sutterman rebound. 14 point Marysville Lee on the road tonight. Third trip in a row on the road. They're on the road for three next week. I don't think they come back home until late in the month. A standalone of Nemo Hall Central. Then it's into the month of February before we return with late flight. Willow Todd driving the lane through a lot of white jerseys. Count the basket for Todd. He was fouled. Drew Petty is fourth. Fourth team foul. Patty checks out on four fouls. He was on the bench some with three earlier. Here's Mason Herzog back in. Little top waiting and waiting at the line. Two for two early on tonight. Only Marysville's fifth free throw here tonight. to hit four of them on this strike by Otan. It's Colton Shotty, a six-foot senior in the Bulldog lineup. Scott Brown's going to get some reserves in here with a double-digit lead and a little more than seven minutes remaining. Spencer Hack, far corner, missed Sutterman rebound. 
Jack Lauer's limping as he comes back down the floor, kind of regains his, his footing. He's still not fully steady out there. Otot out front. They're putting the pressure on now. Coming out with a man-to-man D that's a whole lot more aggressive than it had been. Brett Williams takes it to the lane with Spencer Heck, and he's fouled on the shot. Here are free throws coming for Rhett Williams. Stops the clock with 6.35 left. Barron's loath to check in, goes back to the bench. Maybe coming in for Rhett at the line. Short. Wamego girls won the opener 83-25. They're perfect in nine starts. Five league wins. Ranked third in 4A. Williams missed a pair. Here are the Raiders almost got away from Monroe near the lane. Got it back and manages a short shot missing. Sutterman pushing it ahead to Rhett Williams. Missed a layup. Zutterman puts it back up. It doesn't want to fall. Couple of chip shots wouldn't go over the rim. And back down the other way is Emory Wolf. He'll play a lead to Colin Donahue inside for his first score. 37-22, now under six minutes left in the ball game. Defense even comes into backcourt. Oh, top far side to Shotty. Zutterman. Out between the rings, time up Marysville. 5.46 remains, and it's Marysville 37, Wamega 22. Olmstead Real Estate and Auctions, your farm and home marketing team since 1976. Let the family team of Tim, Tom, and Rob Olmstead and brother-in-law Tom Kirkland guide you in your real estate experience of selling or buying a home or farmland. Olmstead Real Estate and Auctions is experienced in providing timely, professional, and honest service. Find them on the web at olmsteadrealestate.com or call today at 785-353-2210. The Nordis Motor Company in Marysville has a brand new 2023 Chevy Equinox LT. In on trade, a 2018 Toyota RAV4, a 2017 Jeep Renegade, and a 2014 Chevy Captiva. Check these vehicles out and arrange for a test drive at the Nordis Motor Company in Marysville. I've got about eight rows of bleachers in front of me that are wide open. It wasn't a big, big crowd tonight, and a lot of those fans have left already. Bulldogs go to work with Jack Lauer in traffic underneath, missing. Marysville leading at Wamego 37-22. Wamego had a three-point halftime lead on Abilene. I thought it was more than that in the last Tuesday, but Abilene came back to win. Bulldog faithful chanting defense across the way. Quite a few students down here tonight. Shot missing down low for Dusty Monroe. Flower brings it back for the Bulldogs. Foul at midcourt. I think Colin Donahue guarding. Picks up his third. That's 16 fouls both ways. Both teams likely in the bonus before it's said and done. Our near side, Sutterman double teamed. Tries to fight his way out and is fouled. Monroe and Herzog there. Who got the whistle? Herzog is second. And we're in the one on one. Sutterman to the Marysville free throw line with 5 10 left. Shot off the back of the rim doesn't go. Rebounds out to Spencer Hack. Double-digit lead for the visitors here tonight. Play in the paint. Nice give to Mason Herzog on his first score. Here's Marysville. It's a Barron's coming far sideline. Pass deflected out of bounds. Brett Williams back in for Barron's. 
Kansas. Kansas State, Saturday afternoon, we'll have the Wildcats and the Jayhawks. They meet head-to-head Tuesday night. Big game coming up to 6 o'clock tip. We'll have it on FM 95.5. Marysville boys play at 6. I think we'll go ahead and carry that game here. That way we got you covered both ways. I'll have to beg forgiveness from the Wildcat fans who will listen to Brian Haney's call. Jack Lauer, double pumps underneath, had double coverage, gets the score. Nice game for Lauer here tonight. He's got 16. And a three missing far side for Monroe. Raiders keep it in play. Monroe challenging Otot to the hoop for two. Monroe with half a dozen. It's 39-26. An 18-point lead is down to 13. Sutterman was fouled. Mason Herzog's third. Sanders back at the line where he just missed one. Sander free throw, strong off the back of the rim. Herzog rebounds. Under four minutes left. Near side, Hack scoots underneath. Play in the lane, stolen by Otot. Then a piece of it swept back by Donahue. Played out of bounds. Thomas Barron's back in for Zutterman. Sanders got in the starts here in January. Injury to Peyton Smith, who was a starter in December. Maybe back late in the season, last we heard. Had shoulder surgery along those lines. Williams twins in the four court. 13 point Marysville lead. No urgency here. Clock continues to roll. We're down to three and a half minutes. Otot near side to Lauer. Back to Otot. To the lane, looking low for Barron's. Got away, taken away by the Raiders. Swiping a pass. On row to the paint. Spin, shoots, missing off the back of the rim. Barron's with the board. He was fouled. Wolf picks up his first. Timeout for Omega with 3.16 left. Marysville 39, Omega 26. Chromie Lumber in Marysville and Washington offers sales, template, and installation of countertops, including quartz, solid surface, and Corian. Visit chromielumber.com or stop in 609 Carolina in Marysville or 200 Ballard in Washington. For your next kitchen remodel project, see Chromie Lumber in Marysville and Washington. If you're 50 or over, it may be time to switch your auto and home insurance. The AARP Auto and Home Insurance Program from the Hartford is now available through the Copeland Insurance Agency in Marysville. Discover rates, benefits, and service designed for AARP members, plus extra savings when you insure both your auto and home. Call the Copeland Insurance Agency in Marysville at 619-6220. That's 619-6220. Or visit copelandinsurance.net. Certain policy features not available in all states. Applicants are individually underwritten. Hartford Fire Insurance Company, Hartford, Connecticut. Well, as my witness, I expected a dogfight here tonight to the end. Prepping for the game, they were so similar in so many categories. And I knew Omega would be hungry on their home court. But they have been uh, outgunned by Marysville. It's 39-26. Here's a Thomas Barron's free throw missing. Monroe rebound. Marysville a 9-5 low scoring first quarter. Led 21-11 at the half. Up 15 after 3. They lead by 13 now. Mixing it up down low. A hard fighting junior Dusty Monroe challenging defenders. Had the ball knocked away out of bounds. Bulldog basketball. Zutterman's back in for Barron's. A senior-laden team for Scott Brown. Looking to get back a 10-12 and 12 season that was, to be truthful, a disappointment last year. High hopes for this uh, class of athletes. 
Ten Marysville seniors on this squad. But they're learning to win this year. Lauer free throw. He was found by Wolf, his second. Lauer connects. 17 for Lauer. Missed the second look. 40-26. 240 left. This game was pretty well decided back in the second quarter early on. Here's a steal by Otot in the forecourt. All the way. Layup's easy for Will Otot. And he's got 10 points tonight. Can have at least two Bulldogs in double figures. Had three in doubles with a win Tuesday at Concordia. Whistle down low. Stops the clock at 2.09. Sander Zetterman picks up a third personal. And that'll bring Spencer Heck to the free throw line first time tonight. And it's good. Improving at least a bit on a four free throw percentage for the Raiders tonight. His second free throw is good. All right, 42 28. Lauer, far sideline, splits defenders going all the way to the hoop, wave the basket off, he traveled with it. I didn't see where they called the travel. But he saw an opportunity. And it didn't materialize. Had the right idea. Far side corner. Turning out Monroe. Right baseline. Eight footer missed. Rook Williams rebound. Leaves a minute 40. The Bulldogs will come away 8-1, and 6-0 and atop the NCKL. Flamingo runner-up, then Abilene. Abilene was leading at the half, 44-20 at Clay Center tonight. Kahn and Chapman tied at 26 at the half. Donahue picks up a fourth personal. Donahue and Petty with four apiece. Petty stays on the bench. Here's Sanders Zetterman back to the line. First of two is good. Luke Ish is a junior, seeing his first action for Flamingo. Zetterman, a second free throw coming with a minute 30 left. And hung on the rim, wouldn't fall. Lauer puts it back in. We'll counter for two. 45-28. A team that averages over 50 points a game is under 30. Here's a pass stolen by Rhett Williams, feeding Jack Lauer. Williams the assist. Lauer back-to-back scores, and it's a 19-point game. Rook Williams knocks it loose to Rhett. Plays to Rook. Nope. Rhett on the left-handed layup. Missing, but Lauer cleans it up. Three straight scores for Jack Lauer in the second half with 16-21 on the night. All right, Troy Hemphill's uh, conceding this one with wholesale substitutions, a player rotation timeout, and a uh, Quite an outburst from the Marysville team and fans. This again was supposed to be a hard fight tonight. They're 3-0 in the new year. As Wilmega Reserves will play the clock out under 45 seconds. Trailing by 21 points. Two lopsided ball games tonight, huh? Top of the key miss for Colton Cooper. And it plays out of bounds with 34 seconds remaining. Lukish will keep the inbounds pass. In the paint to reserve, Caden Newell missed a shot. Barons comes away with the board. 
Half minute to play. Bulldogs can play the clock out. Double-digit win here on the road tonight. Long three. Colton Schotte missed off the glass. Ish with the rebound. Found by Schotte coming down the floor. And there's 15 seconds to play. Luke Ish at the line first time tonight. Monego goes in tournament action next week, but I don't know where. In and out, rattle the cage, Barron's another board. Down the floor is Nathan Fisher. He checked into the Marysville lineup. He'll play the dribble out at center court as the Bulldogs win on the road tonight. Third straight road win in the new year. Our final, Marysville 49, Omega 28. Start your new year with a new career. Come join the team at Landall Company as they look to make 2023 the best year yet. Landall in Marysville is hiring for assembly, welding, paint, fabrication, technical writer, engineering clerk, and a traveling service tech position based out of Texas. Career advancement opportunities available. Enhanced wages start at $15.75 up to $21.95 plus hiring bonuses for qualified positions of $500 to $1,000. Exceptional benefits include $2 per hour shift differential, 4% attendance bonus, paid time off, medical, dental, vision, life insurance, paid holidays, and profit sharing. Apply online and learn more at Landall.com or phone 785-562-5381 for more information. EEO Vets and Disabilities Welcome at Landall Company in Marysville. Go online at landall.com. RX Drug Store in downtown Marysville is here for you with over-the-counter medicines for cold, flu, and allergy season and prescription drugs for more serious matters. They also offer curbside pickup and delivery services. Don't forget to bring in your new insurance card for the new year with RX Drug Store. Make every job easier with one stop at Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axel Lumber. For any project inside or out, if you're a professional or do-it-yourselfer, get the tools you need, including Milwaukee, DeWalt, Stanley, and more. Battery-operated tools offer the convenience and mobility with the power to get the job done quickly every time. Stocked with all the blades, bits, and accessories for your convenience as well. Check out the Power Tools selection today and get the work started on your schedule with Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axtel Lumber. Marysville boys win in convincing fashion on the road tonight, 49-28. Four-point first quarter lead, 10-point halftime advantage. Marysville outscored them all four quarters. Led by Jack Lauer with 23 points. Didn't score in the first quarter, had five points in the first half. You do the math, 18 of 23 points, second half for Jack Lauer. Willow Tott adding 10, five apiece for Sanders Zetterman and Rook Williams. Brett Williams scoring four. Thomas Barron's off the bench with two. As Marysville improves to 8-1, and 6-0 and oh atop the NCKL, Marysville's ranked number nine in boys' class 3A. Walmago just had a lackluster performance all night. Could never get in gear. Spencer Heck was lead scorer, all of 10 points, scattered throughout. Joey Shea, their big man inside, four points, single field goal. Drew Petty had foul trouble most of the second half. He had three points. Colin Donahue, two. Their top scorer, Emory Wolf, he had a free throw tonight. Six points for reserve Dusty Monroe, Mason Herzog with two. They played a lot of minutes. Wilmega falls to six and three, their second loss straight. They fall to three and two after dropping Tuesday night's game to Abilene. Marysville 49 will make a 28 the final in boys' play. Girls' action earlier, it was all Lady Raiders winning 83 25, their biggest margin of victory. Marysville didn't play bad. Wilmego just looked incredible tonight. Led by Trista Hubler with 24. Ashton Pearson had 21, 19 of those in the first half. Reserve freshman Lexi Heck had 21 points tonight. Addison Denny with nine. Maya Gallagher scores eight, all in the second half, and a free throw by Riley Meinhardt. For Marysville, lead score Lindsey Dressman with 10, seven of those second half. Haley Ingalls and Maddie Cap at five apiece. Bryn O'Neill with four points. Marysville scoreless from the field, second and fourth quarters. Walmigo 83, Marysville 25. 
Lady Raiders are third ranked in 4A. They're 9 and 0, 5 and 0. Marysville 3 and 6, 3 and 3. Of the girls' finals tonight, Chapman beat Concordia 45-40. Clay Center top Dabbling 45-31. Um, boys at the half, Concordia Chapman tied at 26. End of three quarters, Abilene leading Clay Sutter boys 54-29. We'll catch the finals on the Farm Bureau Insurance Scoreboard Show twice game nights and a service. Uh, Farm Bureau agents Patrick Beauty in Marysville and Bryce Leonard in Washington. Back with a look at our next broadcast action, a busy tournament week next week. One final time from Omega after this. To be successful in agriculture today, you need to have all your ducks in a row. We can help you do that. Our ag lenders know their business, and they're local. They can work with you to establish the loans and lines of credit you need to get the job done. Because we make our decisions locally, we give quick service on loans. Stop by, see us, and get all your ducks in a row. Citizen State Bank. Marysville, Waterville, and Hanover. Member FDIC. Save money and get free stuff. Seriously, download the CJ Go app before you fill up next time and earn exclusive deals and rewards. Earn points with every fill up and redeem those points for dollars off your purchase. Download the CJ Go app and use it at all CJ Express locations. Join, shop, and save with CJ Express in Marysville and Frankfurt. Honeyman Auto Sales and Service. Drive by or check inventory online at HoneymanAuto.com. You can even schedule a test drive online as well. With lots of choices, Honeyman works to make yours the best buying experience with customer service a top priority. Competitive pricing, knowledgeable staff, and superior customer service right here at home. With a full service shop and a selection of both cars and trucks in all price ranges, see Honeyman Auto Sales and Service East Pony Express High Galloway, Marysville, today. At Galloway Uyghurs and Brenniger, we're about building relationships one client and one issue at a time. I'm Jason Brenniger, and I invite you to visit with me for any legal services you might have, including probate, estate planning, and trust administration. Advanced planning has countless advantages to your family, including greater control and disposition of your assets and tax issues that might come up. Call for a no-obligation appointment today. Check us out on our Facebook page, or at gwblaw.net. Generations have relied on Kinsley's of Marysville, the Patton Funeral Chapel in Frankfurt, Hanover Mortuary, Ward Funeral Homes of Lynn in Washington, and Landreth Axtell Funeral Home. You can continue to rely on the professional experience that they provide and the heartfelt concern that they offer each family that they serve. Caring concern in your family's time of need. And her finals in boys' action, Marysville 49, Wamego 28. Girls play Wamego 83, Marysville 25. Marysville boys tip with Hiawatha Tuesday, pool play at Seneca. It's a 6 o'clock start. Marysville's the number one Hiawatha, the number seven seed. Marysville faces fifth seed St. Mary's on Thursday night at 6. We'll have both those games live here on AM 1570 FM 94.1 with the KUK State game on FM 95.5 Tuesday night. Play-ins in the Twin Valley League Tournament tomorrow. Ten games begin at 10 a.m. over at Washington County. We'll be there for three or four games on Monday. And the play continues then Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of next week. Got scores and updates, of course, on our website and our Facebook page on our scoreboard show and on our morning sports twice in the 7 o'clock hour. Marysville wrestlers host the 48th annual Jay Husker tomorrow. Throughout sports team, junior senior high activity center begins at 10 a.m. Kansas, Kansas State in action tomorrow afternoon, and they meet each other head to head Tuesday night. That's it for coverage tonight. A split for the Marysville girls and boys. Marysville girls are back home hosting Nemo Hall Central, a standalone fair Friday. And again, the boys are in the Thunder Classic beginning Tuesday. Thanks to our KDY Sports Booster Club members and our regional sports boosters. I'm Bruce Deer King. Thanks for listening. Have a great weekend, everybody. At your service 24-7, on air, online, and on our mobile app. News, weather, sports, and more. Yours from KDY.